down an abnormally smoky season in the Green Mountains. Our Sophia Thomas joins us live in South Burlington with why Vermont's fall went up in flames. Sophia, what can you tell us? Well, listen, John, a drop in temperature typically corresponds with a drop in fire risk. But this year, foliage wasn't the only thing ablaze. On the morning of October 27th, Barnard Fire Warden Scott Mills awoke to smoke. The morning of the fire, I went up Route 12 and the whole ridge was on fire. And I said, oh my. It's the kind of fire you spend your career preparing for. Around 70 acres of remote land on Morgan Hill Road on fire from improper wood stove ash disposal. It took several local and state departments two weeks to put out. I've been on the department 47 years. You know, we might have had 10 to 20 acres, but nothing Nothing of this magnitude, for sure. A fire like that is rare during a Vermont fall. State experts say the spring, with melting snow and warming temperatures, typically triggers the most fires. We were always, you know, on pins and needles in the spring, and we're alert, of course, in the fall, but we weren't uh, expecting to have this, you know, rash of, of wildland fire. So far this year, 82 wildfires, all human caused, burned 159 acres. It's the most fire damage since 2016 and over half of it happened in October and November alone. Experts say little rain, dry foliage, and wind were a recipe for disaster. It was very far from typical, but I think it's it's sort of the new normal, right? Preparing for more falls like this, the state is working to secure several hundred thousand dollars to buy a wildland fire engine. It's a rogue pickup truck, able to navigate rural and mountainous terrain better than standard fire trucks. Mills is happy to see state funds going to fire prevention and response. But I think this has opened more people's eyes for where the funding might need to go. The state aims to buy that wildland fire engine in the coming fiscal year, and they say they hope it boosts fast fire response and reduces reliance on fire departments in surrounding communities and states. Live in South Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 this morning.